meant one thing to me in the past. It's what you eat, right? And I'm, although I'm a scientist, I train as a physicist, so it came to me as a big surprise when I learned that proteins can do much more than just serving as your food items. Here's an example. A motor protein can walk on a cellular highway to carry a cargo down your nerve from your brain to the joints and the extremities. These proteins are called the nanomachines because they do critical functions uh, needed for all forms of life with the precision and efficiency that is still unmatched by the man-made machines. Quite uh, amazingly, some of the motor proteins are responsible for how some animals change their color. I'm going to show you this movie obtained by Professor Gelfand in Northwestern University a few years back, but let me explain what you should be seeing. A zebrafish has dark pigments inside the skin cells. If you pick one cell and put it on a culture dish, you can see the cell on the surface with a dark pigments spread all over the cell. That's the, why, that's the reason why the cell appears black. Okay? Now, if the fish wants to change its color, it tells the motor proteins to grab the dark pigments and move them toward the middle of the cell, okay? following the highways that are, are laid down centripetally uh, along the you know, radial direction. Then, uh, the dark pigments will be concentrated in the middle of the cell, and therefore, the rest of the cell area becomes clear, making the cell appear much less dark and much brighter. So let me uh, play the movie, have a look. Amazing, okay? That's how the fish change its color. In fact, uh, chameleons that we know uh, change the color in the same way. Just slightly more complex because, of course, they are more colorful. In fact, if you think about and have any question about your body, the answer always, almost always lies in the proteins. How do we sense pain? There are temperature-sensitive proteins uh, that become active at high temperatures only, causing pain. And this is important because, for example, without that pain, we will not remove our hands from boiling water. Chili peppers produce a natural compound, capsaicin. Capsaicin, capsaicin binds to that temperature-sensing protein to lower the minimum temperature for activation. That's the reason why uh, eating uh, chili peppers can cause immense pain even at the body temperature, and that's, that's also the reason why you can relieve the pain uh, temporarily by drinking cold water. Our DNA gets damaged all the time, but we do not develop cancer normally until the old age because there are uh, DNA repair proteins that can take care of the DNA damage. We also need proteins to break down alcohols and its byproduct. And in East Asia, many people have defects in these proteins, uh, so you get uh, Headaches and uh, your face turns red, even after a single drink. By now, we know the identities of many, many proteins that are responsible for our abilities to think, dance, smell, hear, and see, and even fall in love. Okay, actually, that part is not true. You know, we don't know what proteins are underlying the, the love part. But I want to know at some point. So there are probably more than 20,000 different proteins in us, all specializing in different tasks. So in that sense, body is much like the human society that has a thousand different occupations. This analogy is actually a good one because if you expand the body to the scale of the Earth, then a single protein is about the size of a single human being. Okay. 
Therefore, these proteins are uh, unimaginably small, measuring just a few nanometers across, about 10,000 times smaller than the width of a human hair. Because they are so tiny, they are called nanomachines, and because they are so tiny, it is very difficult, if not impossible, and it used to be very difficult, to uh, measure and monitor the movements of these proteins in real time. This has, however, changed because of the breathtaking advances in single molecule fluorescence imaging technologies. Nowadays, we can follow a single protein at a nanometer precision all the way, uh, following each and every tiny step. You can put a fluorescence tag on the protein and zap it with a laser and use a powerful microscope to take movies. We can follow and determine how quickly a protein moves from point A to point B. We can also determine uh, in how many steps it takes to reach that destination. We can also study how disease-causing mutations change the protein's behavior. The feat achieved here is quite amazing, remarkable. It's really equivalent to using uh, a telescope on the surface of the moon uh, to record the movements of my uh, favorite tennis player, uh, Roger Federer, on the surface of the Earth uh, in Wimbledon. However, uh, if you're interested in learning what makes uh, Federer uh, such a special player, this is not enough. You need to do better. You can do better by using a technology called single molecule FRET. FRET is a, is a spectroscopic molecular ruler that can measure changes in distance between fluorescent molecules of different color. So when Roger here uh, swing his, swings his racket, the distance between the two uh, hands will change as a function of time. And if you put a green dye on the right hand and the red dye on the left hand, at the beginning, in the back swing, two, two molecules are very far away from each other. So when you excite the green dye with the laser, you get green signal. But once you follow through, then two hands are close to each other, and then the excitation by the laser becomes transferred to the red dye, and then you get red signal. So by simply looking at the color change, you can deduce the distance between the two hands, and they the shape change of the, of the protein during function. So this is like having a court-sized seat next to the Wimbledon center court and observing what makes a federal uh, generational talent perhaps the best ever. Now we are in uh, Gangnam district, so I couldn't resist the temptation to uh, use uh, the world-famous rapper uh, metaphor here. So as you can see, you can simply watch the color change and deduce the dance moves of uh, Psy. And you can do this from far away. You can do this from the moon, right? By simply using a powerful telescope to change the color, to, to see the color change. In fact, we can now use these technologies to, uh, to see the uh, complicated and amazing dance movements of many medically important proteins, such as oncogenes, neurotransmitter transporters, and an HIV reverse transcriptase. We have been doing, doing this for some years. It still amazes me every day what you can discover on a daily basis using this simple principle. A few years back, we are studying uh, the movement of a DNA motor protein moving on the DNA. Surprisingly, instead of falling off at the end of the DNA street, the protein reappeared at the beginning of the street and then repeated the patrolling movements numerous times. It turns out the protein uses this patrolling function to uh, safeguard the street from other proteins that can potentially cause genomic damage because extensive genomic damage can lead to cancer and tumor development, we now must uh, 
view these proteins as the superheroes that keep the threat of cancer at bay. That's my hero, okay? In fact, uh, in if there is a mutation in one of these uh, tumor-resisting uh, proteins, that can lead to a real problem. For example, just the six letters change in a gene called uh, breast cancer susceptibility gene 2, also known as BRCA2. If you have the mutation, then uh, your chance of getting a breast cancer or ovarian cancer increases dramatically. Famously, the actress uh, Angelina Jolie surgically removed her organs uh, because of the BRCA mutations. Wouldn't it be amazing, wonderful, if, if instead we can remove the uh, disease-causing mutations from the genome altogether? This dream may become a reality soon because of the technology called CRISPR. And it may not be too far in the future when, uh, until we can uh, uh, cut out a defective portion of a gene and replace it with a functional normal copy. In CRISPR technology for gene editing, there is a protein called Cas9 that binds the DNA and unwinds the DNA to examine the sequence. If there's a great sequence match, that CRISPR Cas9 cuts the DNA to start genome editing. Basically, Cas9 protein is asking the DNA, are you my true partner? before making a commitment. This technology works well enough to uh, triple the yield of tomato plants without having to name it a GMO. That's because tomato genes can be precisely edited without introducing a gene from a different species. You can also use the CRISPR-Cas9 technology to cure mice of deafness-causing mutations and there are many amazing examples that are highly promising. However, there are still major problems, a major one, uh, against safe medical applications. Cas9 does not just cut at one place with a perfect sequence match. It can also cut uh, sequences that are partially matching only. And this is called the off-target effect. And because our genome is very large, uh, three, bi three billion letters of DNA, there can be a, a large number of uh, partially matching sequences that can be cut by Cas9 unintentionally and causing you know, uh, unpredictable consequences. Now we are using single molecule fat imaging to address uh, this point. So if the Cas9 binds the DNA to unwind it fully when the sequence matching is great, Basically, you get a, a green signal to tell the enzyme this is a good match. You can settle down, marry her, whatever, right? Uh, if there's no match, then, then you don't unwind the DNA, you get rest signal. So far, so good. Now, for partially matching sequences, well, ideally, we want to have just red line only, okay? But in reality, when you measured uh, the activities, you got a mixture of red and green. And this is the reason why Cas9 protein actually uh, often, you know, enters into a commitment of a long-term relation, even with uh, less than an ideal match. Using this understanding, now we are trying to uh, engineer Cas9 proteins that can be much more accurate without uh, side effects. Okay, so proteins are nanomachines and superheroes, and that's the message for today. I, I want to end by thanking you for being here. We also want to uh, explain our research better and also convey the excitement and the fun aspect of the scientific enterprise to non-scientists and also to you know, young students. So I commissioned a song about our research from a Baltimore artist in the Maryland US where I live and I'm going to play the song here. Uh, the artist Stephen is here.
Yeah, SM fret, please do not forget Single molecules and dyes the colors green and red Yeah, SM fret, you will not regret Use Cast9 to cut like it's Gillette with CRISPR tech Ay. In this lab we doing work with fluorescence Study enzyme kinetic, sequence the gene is phonetic Yeah, A, T, C, and G's We like to play with beams Cast9 unwinds the genes And then it cuts the to genes Turf makes evanescent feels Shows us evanescent feels Shows us our fluorescence heals We record the videos like we got adolescent feels Getting attracted, getting repelled Measuring habits, what does it spell? Molecular structure, molecular chatting And everything down to molecular rapping Optical trap Yeah Pull on the strap, hey, yeah. Optical trap, yeah. Move on the map, hey, yeah. You cannot use fret with it. The floor force photo bleach out of it. Get ready to laser it. You measure by moving the stage a bit. You look at its elements. You pull and you look at the range of it. You pull and you look at the strength of it. You pull and you start rearranging it. Time to talk about single molecule imaging, go faster Naturally, this imaging will come with its limiting factors You focus on part of the slides, not that the others don't matter Super S will come select and light aye, molecules aye, up at aye. random SM fret, please do not forget Single molecules and dyes the colors green and red yeah. SM fret, you will not regret Use Cas9 to cut like yeah. it's Gillette with CRISPR yeah. test yeah. Hey. 5000, base pairs without stopping Splits your defense like it's Kyrie when it's walking. Here at TEDx, rep and rep X, cause it's new tech. Our healer case and wants to duplex. We use fret. But what's fret? The donors and acceptors. You split the channel like you're splitting into sectors. The closer the dies, the higher the fret. The further they go, the lower the red. The green is the donor, the red's the acceptor. We read in the data like reading the letters. Uh, yeah, like reading the letters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh.